What's good, y'all? Friend Relations here, and today is Wednesday, <clears throat> September 11th, 2024, and it's New Comic Book Wednesday. So let's get into it. Definitely an awesome issue to start off with here, um, Uncanny X-Men issue 2. In the last issue, we got introduced very quickly at the end to some new characters, and it looks like this is their you know, first full appearance. And so I picked up two uh, copies just because, you know, I guess you can call it a spec or a speculation. You know, I don't expect anything substantial anytime soon or anything like that. But, you know, introducing four characters, you never know if one of them might end up, you know, catching steam and sticking around for a while. So either way, I uh, was excited for this issue and got, went ahead and spec'd on it. Got two copies just in case. Both cover A. Uh, next up, we have Amazing Spider-Man issue 57. This is legacy number 951. Uh, enjoyed the last one. As I showed you guys at the end, it actually had all of the covers over the past however many years it's been. All 950 covers. So really cool issue. Um, it, it was a decent one, as I kind of uh, predicted in, in the uh, review or whatever you want to call it of the weekly episode. And so, yeah, um, we're getting close to the end of this run. And so we'll have to see how this one closes out. I did also, they're doing this, the Art of Marvel Studios um, thing, kind of similar to the, the Coca-Cola collaboration where they have all the movie photos for all, all the different books. Uh, I really enjoy Amazing Spider-Man and I just figured I'd pick this up for the collection as well. So next up, this is Wolverine issue one, legacy number 393. Uh, I didn't get the cover A. I went ahead and got the Peach and Momoko variant. Um, I added this one to the pull list. I was iffy if I was going to keep it. There's just so many Wolverine books. But uh, once I saw the Peach Momoko cover, I was like, let me just add this to the collection. I'll definitely be checking out and, you know, giving it a shot. But we'll see if I actually carry on with it or not. Fan Fantastic Four. This has been a book that occasionally I'll pick up mainly for the cover. And this is one cover I definitely wanted to pick up with Doctor Doom on that you know, Dr. Doom, Tyrannosaurus Rex right there. And so I thought it was a cool cover and went ahead and added it to the collection. Another issue one, this is Avengers Assemble issue one. I've been enjoying Avengers and I figured I'd check out one of these kind of offshoots of it and, and see, you know, what I think of it. And so uh, we'll see if I continue along with it, but that is issue one. Uh, issue two of Blood Hunters. Issue one, I wasn't super blown away by. I figured I'd give it another shot, and if I'm not, you know, thoroughly enjoying it, I'm definitely going to be um, taking off the pull list, especially because October, there's a lot of new DC books, and I feel like those books are going to be books that I'm, you know, continuing to pick up for some time, so there's going to have to be some cuts to my pull list at this point, just because there's so many books. Uh, next up, uh, Absolute Power Task Force. This is six of seven, so we're, we're coming towards the conclusion of this. I'm actually behind on my DC books. I didn't read, I don't think, any of the DC books last week. So I need to catch up on that before I jump into this. But yeah, excited to, um, you know, get closer to that conclusion for Absolute Power. Next up, Ninja Turtles Issue 2. I really enjoyed Issue 1. Uh, I almost pulled this just because, you know, it's not, you know, one of the big two or anything like that. But I, I thought that would be a disservice to the book. I really enjoyed Issue 1. Ninja Turtles was, you know, probably the first thing I ever collected as a kid. And so, uh, ready to check out issue two. It looks like they're basically doing deep dives into each of the uh, individual turtles. Um, and so, we'll have to see uh, how this one goes. Next up, this actually isn't a new pickup. Uh, once I got home, did the video, and checked it off of my little list, I realized there was a Peach Momoko variant for Kid Venom. And so, I went ahead and picked that up. Um, love the Peach Momoko covers. Really enjoyed issue one of Kid Venom. I checked out issue two. I'm honestly going to give it another read. And um, I think I'm going to read issue one and then go straight into issue two because I was a little lost. But yeah, definitely um, excited to check it out. And I definitely excited to add that to um, the collection. So the book that I'm most excited to read is definitely going to be Amazing Spider-Man. And probably favorite cover is the one we just went over right now. And that is Kid Venom Peach Momoko variant. And so that's the pickups for this, week's guy, uh, this week, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Oh, we did have a winner, by the way. Um, it was Alex ZPB, I want to say. I'm going to pin up the username right here. The winner came from YouTube this week. Uh, uh, the last time we did a giveaway was from Twitter, so wanted to switch it up a bit. And so, yeah, definitely leave those comments, guys. Thank you, as always, for supporting, and I will uh, definitely reach out to you. So I commented, uh, this is to the winner, I commented to you on YouTube, but please reach back out either on Twitter IG or Discord. 
um, with proof that you are that account and also use that account to comment back to let me know what platform you used. We'll get it situa uh, situated. I, I couldn't see a way to DM you on YouTube, but yeah, congrats to you. And if I need to do a reminder next week or something like that, I'll definitely do that. But you won. Definitely get back to me as soon as possible so we can get out your comic. All right, guys. Until next time, peace. Thanks for watching.